Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a lovely day and today I just got back from Japan and I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got whilst my stay in Japan. So, yep, uh, I'm just going to be showcasing some stuff and also my open a trial deck. So, or two, two of them. I just want to use them. So, starting off with um, some of the singles that I got, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just going to go through all these. Yeah, I got some of the, a lot of this stuff. This first part is from Book Off, a uh, common store in Japan. A um, Maridon EX Full Art. This one is a little cheaper in the US, but um, I like it. A Full Art 20% off Snorlax uh, Alternate Art. Mimikyu V. I actually did have this, I do have this card right now in English, but got it in Japanese too. And then beautiful. Uh, Gardevoir, Shining Gardevoirs. I got two of them because look absolutely beautiful. One for me, one for my friend. And then um, I got a Dark Magician uh, girl, uh, Ultimate Rare. And the reason I got this is because, uh, okay, American, you know, people that know, know, okay. She's slight, her artwork's slightly different than the uh, uh, English ones. Okay, and then going on to the next one, we got. I don't know where I got this thing. Another card store. Somewhere in Akihabara. Okay, we got a Mimikyu VMAX. Um, we got a... I, I actually, I've been collecting Kyogre, so... I'm just gonna put this here. You guys know I love Kyogre. Yavaltal, uh Ultimate... Is this Ultimate Rare? I, for, I keep forgetting. But I really like... This is my first time ever, like, being in possession of an Ultimate Rare. Absolutely beautiful. And then probably... One of my favorite cards here, uh, Kyogre Ultimate Rare. I'm just gonna take it out. Look at that, absolutely stunning card. I'm really a fan of Kyogre, so I got another Kyogre, 25th uh, Century Rare, uh, Quarter Century Rare. No, I'm sorry, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Uh, then another Kyogre, just a holographic one, and then uh, Schweinsteiger. Uh, or sorry, is this Schweinsteiger? Yeah, Schweinsteiger uh, soccer card. Yeah, I got a lot of variety of different card games and stuff, so just kind of all over the place here. All right, <laughs> moving on. This I got at Hobby Off, another place. Um, I might be opening this. I'm really curious to what's in here, 200 yen for that. And here's some of the uh, singles I got, so I'm going to take these out as well because uh, I want to put them in my deck, actually. So we have our first Dark Magician. Pretty good. I really like Dark Magician. Uh, what's next? I do have quite a few of these. Uh, I have a. I've never seen this rare in the TCG, so I decided to pick up a lot of unique rares. And then, of course, this is one of the more expensive ones, but I did get a Pot of Prosperities. A uh, uh, Pot of Prosperity in the TCG is like cheapest. There's I think there's two rares of it, uh, both pr both prismatic. No, one prismatic, but. It's fifty dollars. So in the TCG, much more expensive. Which this was the most expensive one that I actually saw. I just really wanted a prismatic secret uh, pot of prosperity like in the TCG. So got that. And uh, moving on, I have a lot, of, a lot of crap here. This is my first time ever being in possession of an ultimate rare in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Uh, very nice card. Some kind of e-hero card. Nobody plays it. That's probably why it's so cheap. But this is the cheapest one that I saw. So very nice there. And then, of course, our second Dark Magician. I got three of these because i uh, try to build a Dark Magician deck. And also level 7, so kind of works with cash in a funny way. Because um, I do have the uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, one of my favorite cards, because it's the first pretty high-value card I pulled. Okay, and then we have a uh, God Monster Reborn, Cracked Rare format for Rush Duel. I just got it because it's, it's cool. I know it's not legal, but it's cool. New rarity, I've never seen it. And then we have... Another, our third Dark Magician here, so we got the full set of three Dark Magicians. Absolutely stunning. I love these. I do have one English uh, Dark Magician, but just, I just wanted the, the full three set of Japanese because it's, it's cool. Alright, and then this, I have never seen this before. It's just, I have no idea what this is. Some really weird gold rare. It was really cheap, so I just picked it up. Let me know if you know what this is. And uh, we got 
I've never seen this already either. If I put it in the right light, you can see some kind of weird, uh, I don't even know what this is. Some, some really weird rare thing. Sparkling rare. And then another cracked rare. I just picked it up, looked cool. And then of course a poly. I should have gotten more of these to be honest because this I don't really have any poly. So I was trying to get one so I can actually fuse my Dark Magicians for, uh, what was it, effects? Not effect? Yeah, effect dragon monsters to get, like like bestials, so that I can get a nice Red as Dark Dragoon on field. But really if I only have one fusion, it's gonna make it pretty hard. Or maybe I should just get a Red Eyes fusion, make my life a lot easier. Because I wanted to play a, a Dark Magician deck. Um, I know those are those are not the best, but they're still fun to play because of uh, you know anime re relevancy. Okay, and moving on, I have some stuff that's just like in these little little packs here. I don't know what is this place called, C Lab. So if you guys are in Japan, then you know what this place is, I guess, because they have a lot of card stores in Japan. So a lot of this stuff was in Ikebukuro and in Akihabara, two of my most favorite cities in Japan while I was there. So I got another, um, God, I keep forgetting names, uh, Triple Tactics Talents. Uh, I have one in US for, I got the like $20 one in uh, Amazing Defenders. No, God, no, 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 uh, so that, you know what I'm talking about, that pack with tier limits in it. But uh, I got the one in, in Japan because it just looks nice, it looks really nice. Okay. Oh, here, I did get another poly. So I currently have two poly which will make my Red Eyes deck a little bit easier. So maybe I'll make like a combination Beast Fuels, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Kestira. I know it sounds stupid, but it's funny. And I have that stuff, so it works. And then here I found this, I don't even know what this is. Like, if you put it in the right light, it, it, it looks like it even is textured. So if I take it out, it's textured. That's really neat. And for 100 yen, which is equivalent to about 70 cents, it's an absolutely stunning card, so. And really high stars too. I don't know. That's a lot of stars. It looks like in the TC, there's the OCG. They're like more centered, and a lot of text. Just a crap load of text. Okay. All right. Moving on. I have a some Weishvats. I my friend got me into this game. Um, he was like, because people in in the U.S. don't really play this game that much, but uh, I guess people in Japan might play this game a little bit more. I, I was collecting just like every kind of card game. ZX, uh, got Duel, Dueling, Dueling Masters, Turbo Duel, God, sorry, <laughs> Speed Duel, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. That's pretty much all I collected. I could have collected more, but I think I did collect one of the card game I probably forgot the name of, but here's this card. It's some kind of cracked rare. It's a double, double rare. Uh, God, I think that's what it is. Where did I shake it? Yeah, uh, uh, no, it's just a normal, normal rare. Um, from Data Live, some kind of character. I keep forgetting the names. I didn't actually watch Data Live because there's too many seasons. But yeah, I really, really am a fan of the Vice Shots because the quality control is insane, if you don't know. But it is rather expensive, even in Japan, for the packs. So I just buy individually. And then next time I have um, from Card Kingdom, I bought a ZX card. I don't know anything about this TCG, don't know the rules. I'm probably not going to look at them anytime soon, but. I just looked at his cards and I thought they were really appealing to me. So, uh, like the rarity looks very unique in the cracked looks. It's like more cracks than in the Yu-Gi-Oh OCG. Uh, I just was seeing so very nice card. Um, another cracked rare, very nice card. I, I I mean I'd love to learn this game. And I did not see any card card fight Vanguard, which I was actually interested in collecting, but unfortunately did not get that. I just got these two because they're the first ZX cards that I got. Um, because they're pretty cheap, so just might as well pick them up, right? All right, next I'm gonna. I got this card from. Uh, I don't know where I got this from, but it's a another full art ex. Uh, this time it's a gold rare. Thought it was really nice. This was my starter in Scarlet Violet, so I, I decided decided to pick this card up. Very nice. And then next I'm, I have two. I guess are these structure decks? I don't. They're like the crappy kind though. But like I found this thing for 150 yen. You get what is this? How many cards is this? Uh, 40, 40 card deck for just 150 yen or like about 100, uh, uh, one dollar. That's that's a pretty good deal. So I just picked it up and uh, the cheapest thing I saw. So picked it up and uh, so I can get started on Rush Duel if I ever want to play that game. And then here I have um, some kind of 
Pokemon thing. I, I just picked it up. The first Pokemon product I actually bought in Japan. Uh, saw it at 7-Eleven, so picked it up. And um, it was cheap, so, you know, when it's cheap, you just you just buy it, right? And I, I do wish I had one more uh, what do you, polymerization, because I just need one more polymerization. So if you have a polymerization, like, hit me up, bro. I need those. Um, yeah, oh, Red Eyes, Red Eyes Fusion. I need those actually more. And then next, uh, I guess I might as well just go here. Uh, I did like this card store a lot, uh, Yellow Submarine. Looks like this is some more Vice Spots. I'm actually really into this game now. I like the rules and everything, so uh, I'm just keep I keep switch. I was like with Pokemon for a long time, like a year ago. I was playing a lot of Pokemon. Then last year I got really into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, and now I'm, my friends they're playing uh, Vice Spots in Japan, so uh, I decided to get this TCG as well. Uh, okay, so this one it got like a huge price reduction, so decided to grab some of these. Uh, and then of course rem it just is this yeah it's just a common but because it's rem you know 300 yen or that's expensive for a common but still an absolutely beautiful card uh, i have a rem fi oh no no it is it is a common uh no it's a, it's a rr what are you talking about oh yeah you can barely see that it is actually hollow floor let me take it out but this is yeah you could oh yeah if i take it out you can kind of see that this is actually a rr whatever that means um yeah i have a rem figurine so thought this would go nice with that so yeah all right next uh next up we have some more kind of stuff here just hiding hiding out a lot of this stuff was like gambling so you can get these from like machines too so uh yeah it's what it's what it is i i have no idea oh here we go this is uh cash uh got uh unicorn cash unicorn uh way cheaper in the ocg 150 yen well i got down a lot but it used to be like last time i checked it was seven dollars so it might have gone down to five <laughs> i'm gonna look it up right after this but as you know in the, in the sorry as you can see here it is actually a super rare in the ocg and a ultra rare in the tcg which i just find interesting and this is from darkwing blast dabble so very interesting there i will take this out so i can put this in my deck later because i'm thinking about making my cash tier deck a little stronger even though it includes japanese cards but it's not it's too expensive to run tournament million anyways at tournaments, so it's not like I'm playing at tournaments anyways. Alright, here I have a um, a pretty expensive 3,000 yen for some older Japanese cards, Megas. You know, it's been a while since we've seen them. And I just the reason I picked this up is because I wanted some Japanese Megas. Because if you know, in the uh, American Megas, they, they have the big Japanese katakana text here. But in the Japanese cards, they have the English text here, actually, which I think is interesting. Like, why they pick English? They could have picked any other language. But I think it's the way, the same way for German, Spanish, French. Like, they all put the Japanese katakana here. Because it's just cool, I guess. But uh, I, I might open this some other time. This is mainly just a showcase video. So I'm just keeping these stuff around. But I'm definitely going to open this someday. Not today, though. I, I just wanted to kind of showcase everything. All right. Next up, we're going to have... I just have a lot of this stuff that's kind of sealed off. This is from Book Off. So let's see what we get. I Yeah, again, I have no idea what's in here. Some of this stuff is just... I haven't seen it in so long. It's kind of like a surprise for me too. Jeez, where, why am I having such a hard time getting this out? Oh, it's from the top, okay. There we go. Uh, apparently I just got a Diancy, okay. Diancy, I guess the altar, I don't know what's coming. Like they put the little, the, oh, this is AR. What does that mean? Alternate rare, I guess. They put the little, you know, Japanese, we're kind of copying the, the Japanese, uh, oh, I want to say OCG, we're copying the Japanese trading card game because uh, because they're cool, I guess. I don't know. But they would, would copy the silver borders and stuff. My opinion on it is that's not good. I wanted to stay unique from the Japanese trading card game because I, I thought that would be unique. So, And then next I have a Gardevoir 25th anniversary rare, I guess. And the reason I bought this is because of the Delta, um, God, I, Delta type, I guess. And if you don't know, this is a fictional... There's a fictional uh, region. Why did I say fictional? It's all fictional. There's this region that did not appear in the anime, so it's not completely canonical. Um, that was only for this one set that was included Delta types, which are, you know, Gardevoir is not supposed to be fire, it's supposed to be psychic. So I just thought that was super interesting and a big throwback. And I also love Gardevoir as a Pokemon. And this rare looks very unique, so I picked it up. Pretty expensive, 15,000, uh, 1,500 yen, so about uh, $10 there. And also, I got charged one yen for the, uh, whatever this is, uh, top loader. So, 
that's not too bad for a top loader. So. All right, let's see what else I got in here. Um, got All right, we got another thing here, and they're thanking me for my purchase. Okay, well, let's see what we get. All right, Jeez. looks like it's multiple cards. So we got, oh, this is for my caster deck. Of course, we got, oh my god, I, it's Dark Armed Dragon, but not. It's the Xyz version of it, whatever that is. So, Dark Armed something. Uh, and then, of course, another Kashtira, uh, Kashtira Unicorn here. So, it's my second copy right there. Two copies. I did not find a third. Oh, that's right, because I already have the American one. Okay, so now I have three copies of, uh, did, oh my god, I'm stupid. Did they, I think they, they limited this. Did they limit Unicorn or did they limit, what did they limit again? They, did they limit Fenrir? No. I actually think they limited this. I'm stupid. Well, I did not find any Fenrir there, unfortunately. So, kind of sad about that. Because I would have bought that right away. And they did have a Starlight one. I didn't buy it either because I wasn't too interested in that. But anyways, well, we, we're keeping on going. I got a lot of stuff here. It's going to be a long video, so... Sorry for uh, rambling, but... Nobody watches these videos anyways. So, crap. Alright. Alright, here we go. Now we got the goodies. I bought one... I don't know what this rarity is. Like, I want to call it an ultimate rare because it looks like it. Because I know it's textured. Let me just double check. But it is an Arise Heart. And you can only have one now, so I only bought one. Even though this thing is absolutely beautiful. And, oh, it is textured. So that makes me want to say that it's ultimate rare. But you just really never know with OCG because I'm not an OCG player. So, here we have Arise Heart. Absolutely beautiful card. Gonna go in here. And then, of course, I bought two more... Pot of Prosperities, and they have this other unique foiling, and again, I don't know, they're just really pampering the Japanese audience in the OCG, because it's foiled. For $5, you can get a, sorry, you can get a textured card for $5. Absolutely crazy. I, like, imagine you could get an Ultimate Rare for $5 in, in the States, that'd be awesome. And then I bought another, like, this is like a full prismatic, it, I'm putting it in the right light so you can see that, but full prismatic. Uh, whatever this card is, so I just thought that was interesting. I'm buying a lot of unique rares in uh, OCG form, so just just because you know collectible, not not for playing, of course, because you can't play Japanese cards for whatever reason. Um, what's next? So so far my my cash tier deck, I'm, I don't know. Where I just put my other pot, but I bought a lot of new cards for my deck. I'm gonna be probably playing with it soon because it's actually playable now because I have more cash tier bodies. Which was the goal. So there we go. We got quite a few new cashier cards. Absolutely beautiful. All right, moving on. So this I got for one thousand yen. I already looked at the cards here because there's like a gotcha. I just wanted to try it out. So sorry for be being a gambler, I guess. Um, and I checked already. We did lose some money on this, but because we're in America, you can resell this for more. Okay, we got. All right, this is. I think this was the biggest hitter. This was like five hundred yen or something like that. Some, I don't know the names, so I mean I could try to say them, but they're Japanese names. Let me know if you know any of these cards, because I don't. They're all supers though, which is nice. I was hoping for one prismatic, but you know, whatever. And then I looked up this card, and uh, I thought it was Vaughn, but it's, it's not. It's because they reprinted it. But this was one of the original cards. I just really love the way this card looks. Amazing card. I love the way that it's like the old style of stuff, so cool. And then this card, I think this was the most valuable. I, I don't actually know. But some kind of archetypal... Uh, well, you know, Link 2s are the most uh, generic monsters in the game. Like, if you, like, know. Marinces, the t Link 2, God, I don't even remember the name. Was it Coral? Coral Anemone. Link 2. The most... And then you got uh, Nightmare Cerberus and Nightmare Phoenix. Are those both Link 2? They probably are. I think Cerberus might be... It's probably 2. But uh, you can fact check me on that. I'm not. All right, here we go. All right, next of all, we got some more gambling stuff. You got these from the vending machine. I remember one of these was really good because I checked. The first one is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh, so this is a good one. I checked. I think one of these is like $10. I think this might be it. But it is Mind Control Prismatic Secret Rare. Absolutely stunning card right here. And let's just pull these out. So Mind Control Prismatic, I think that's a $10 card. And then this card, no idea what it is. And of course, Ghost Bell. That's definitely always a good card to see um, in the OCG. So 
Nice card. I already have three copies, so it doesn't really help me. Um, whatever this card is. And then this card I looked up. It's a pretty commonly run monster. It's Link 2, so whenever you're seeing Link 2, you know it's going to be really um, generic. And then another Prismatic Rares. I, I like these. Prismatic Secret Rares are just absolutely beautiful, so I decided to get a lot of these. Another Prismatic Secret Rare. And then another... Oh, this one's super. But this this card, if you don't know, is... Uh, it's, I think it's like a Master Duel card. You see it a lot in Master Duel. I, I, I keep forgetting the names, man. Man, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh names are just really long and hard to keep up with, but... Whenever you see a Pokemon, it's just short and sweet, so... Those are usually easier to recite. But I haven't also been playing Yu-Gi-Oh that long, so don't know. Alright, so next we got a big fat stack of cards. Oh, hold on, I forgot to show you the Pokemon one. It's pretty bad, but it's cool, I guess. I got these for like, what, like two, three dollars? Like 500 yen? Like three dollars? I don't know. Okay, we got a uh, Beedrill. B, this is the best card in here, probably. And then some, some, but this was, this was interesting. This really interesting reverse pattern. I'm a huge fan of it. Absolutely stunning. Um, you don't see that stuff in the in the American card game, so very nice that they included that. I, I wish we just got all these unique reverses. To be honest, the Japanese look ones look really nice, but then again, it's it's unique from the from the uh, Japanese ones. So I don't know wh why they decided to copy from the Japanese. Why not keep it unique? You know. All right. Next of all, we got a big fat stack of cards. So this is a. Rhythm game card from Ungeki, a super rare. Oh my god, what? SR? I don't know what that means. But it's under my name, actually. Whoops. You gotta put your name on the card so you engrave your name. This is my name in the game. So you print it from the card game. This is like 200 yen to print it, 100 yen to have on your account. But really nice card. It's, it's pretty rare. So like $5 for this one. And then like this one was the exact one to generate. So pretty. I got this card like two times in a row. I was really pissed about that. But I uh, printed it regardless because. It's a nice card. And these are Sound Voltex cards. Um, I really am a big fan of Sound Voltex. Um, I have another channel for that, actually. Or I post my Sound Voltex on it. But I've got, like, generated fire these cards. Um, absolutely beautiful. Probably this is my favorite one. Looks awesome. Uh, from I, What song is this again? Uh, yeah, no thanks. Uh, I don't know. It just tells you the jacket artist. Then I played some... Uh, I, I, got, I pulled some Battle Cats cards from the, from the wafers here. And they're cards, so... If it's a card, you already know I'm going to buy it. So, uh, yeah, good marketing scheme for them. Um, and this card's actually really good, worth like $20 in the United States, $10 in Japan, so really good pull for 100 yen. And then uh, I got this, whatever this thing is. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of questions about this card. Anyways, this card's absolutely beautiful, though. Really amazing. And they come in the sleeves. I don't even have to sleeve them up. It's awesome. Um, and this card, I've seen various reviews. I don't actually know the complete value. Sometimes I saw like 200 yen. Sometimes I saw like a thousand yen. It's kind of all over the place. Um, and for these cards, because they have like no distinct value, because it's just whatever you're willing to pay for them. And then some Digimon. This is actually, the first time I opened Digimon packs in Japan. So I opened a few Digimon packs. These I found in uh, the arcade, just like free to take cards. And this goes for the Dragon Ball cards that you're going to see in a second, too. I don't actually know what these are from, but Dragon Ball cards, I don't know the value of these. I will check. They might be really rare, they might be worth nothing, no idea. And then, um, some, but they were free though, so it's nice. I got some Pokemon cards, these are the more expensive ones I got. Uh, just got, uh, Shaman V. Absolutely stunning card, I just, I'm a huge fan of Shaman. Uh, used to, got, got the EX in the old days of that card. Uh, Genesect GX. Really beautiful rares, I love these so much. And then just a Ninetales EX. Really cheap though, 100, 100 yen for, imagine getting a 100 yen old EX though. Brings back the nostalgia without the expensive price tag. And then uh, some secret rares here. And these are not the unique. These are not what they actually cost. I just put these sleeves on later. But, and then again, they just always have these texture cards. I remember I paid like like, fi like 500 yen for all these. You really, for really cheap, you could get some really nice textured cards. I love that. And then a uh, conductor here. Some, I bought some like nostalgic cards here. Um, and then some Digimon bulk. Don't really care about that. And then in Digimon packs, they give you these things, which is neat, I guess. Instead of the code guard in the Pokemon card game. And um, moving on, we got... And, and there's Japanese card backs. They don't actually have the scanners in them. It's weird. 
and uh, we got a lot of bulk just got stacks of bulk this is dueling dual masters really nice and then uh, some some uh, I got a sub stone it's good I like water monsters big fan of water in Yu-Gi-Oh so got this really cheap for 300 thing yen you can get a lot of bulk and then these both, these big fat stacks you see here, I mean, you see the price, 330 for this huge stack of just bulk. I just got it because Japanese bulk, it's just fun to look through. I'll probably look through it someday on a, a video. So, and we're kind of getting to the end here, so interesting. Big fat stacks of packs, we'll go through them. This is four stacks of that new legendary Pokemon stack. I don't know what you call this. You'll, I'll show you in a second. Oh yeah, it's in the back over here. Four more packs of this, so uh, Sunohazato, probably a different name in America. Dual Masters pack this is my only Dual Master pack I got. I just, you know, want to see what it's about. I might open it, I might not. Oh, that is so much of this stuff, it's amazing. Battle Spirits, no idea. Code Gay Ass Lelouch uh, pack, thought it was cool. I'm not gonna open it, I just like the pack artwork. Um, Yu Gi Oh! Like really cheap selection ten pack, and then an older pack, which for Japanese standards is more expensive. Extra pack two thousand nineteen. I'm assuming that's a mega pack for American standards. Another expensive pack. No idea what this thing. Oh, it's twentieth century. Or God, I keep saying quarter century. It's like quarter century, but five years. Not okay. I'm, I'm, I don't. Know. Rush duel, really cheap pack. Like only like ninety yen or something. And this is another cheap. Rush duel is really cheap. Very interesting. And then I got two more packs of Photon Hypernova in the OCG to see what I can get. Dueling Nexus. I got a lot of this because I was interested. I'm, I'm going to actually probably open these because I'm curious about it. I got exactly 10 of them. And I got two packs of Digimon. I already opened some of these. Um, pretty fire, actually. I like Digimon. Shadowverse. Pretty expensive. Like 350 for Shadowverse. I've never played a card game, but I thought it was online until I saw that they actually have physical cards, which is really nice, and I watched some of the anime, so that was nice. Really nice anime, actually. Um, then we got four, four more packs of this, so I got eight packs in total of this sab, I don't know what to call this thing. Reminds me of the Ice Age monster, got uh, Ice Age animal. You know what I'm talking about, too, if you watch Ice Age. Okay, and I got some Vice Rods, because I really got into it, so I got four packs of Vice Rods. And buy shots, man, they are expensive. You are paying 400 yen per pack minimum, uh, and uh, 440 with yen uh, with the tax. So pretty expensive for just nine cards. But um, I really like the uh, quality control. As I was saying, I've heard that they have great quality control, so definitely worth the extra yenage. And uh, I'm not gonna be opening many of these, especially this Sao pack, because it just looks amazing. Um, and that's kind of spoilers, because I, I built an Sao deck. So. But then I'm gonna open this one because this I actually did buy a structure deck for this, so this actually might be a uh, feasible card usage. Because if you didn't know, in Vice Rods, you have to use you actually have to use the same series cards, so kind of sucks there. You can't just throw tons of cards together like in Yu-Gi-Oh. But if you look at Pokemon, you have to use drafting, so at least there's no drafting. And Vice uh, Rods is really well balanced, so also nice right there. All right, we're kind of getting to the end here, so um, let's just see what we got here. Um, yeah, going here. This is my deck I built. I might as well just quickly show you all the cards I got. So there's quite a few in here, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to start with the deck, then I'll go into the singles I bought. Not for the sake of the deck. But here we go. It's pretty bad. This is my first deck I built, but I have some Mercy by Schwarz players, and also I bought this sleeves, so pretty nice. Um, yeah, Asuna. I mean, it's just everything thrown together. So it's not any specific order, but I got a lot of copies of stuff. Probably should have unshuffled it before the video, but um, yeah, no, too lazy for that. Um, yeah, it's legal. It's legal to play this. That's all that matters. Some more expensive cards like this one was three hundred yen. This one was also three hundred yen. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole deck. Pretty interesting. Some I bought some accidentally bought more than four copies of some cards, which sucks, but. Hey, whatever. The whole deck cost me like what? Six thousand yen. Insane. Uh well no, six hundred yen for all these cards. Not not just the deck. Alright, here we have the two duplicates. Okay. These cards I just bought them because uh you know. Because of the, the, the plot. And uh three hundred yen for this card. 
for a common. I think we all know why. Um, wait, what? This is a PR. What is that? This is not a PR. This is a common. What are you talking about? Apparently, it's not a common. Okay. Very beautiful artwork. Very beautiful artwork. Pause that. Very beautiful artwork. Very beautiful. Very beautiful artwork. Thank you very much for blessing me. Okay, some more. Um, these are cards that are potentially going in my deck. But, uh, so, I'm gonna put these in my deck. Maybe. Let me know how to build an SEO deck. I have no cards, but, hey, whatever. We all gotta learn somewhere. Let's start somewhere. Uh, very beautiful artwork. Thank you. And, uh, next, well, you guys are already first saw it. A base set, Scarlet and Violet box in Japanese. I bought a 7 Eleven for 5,000 yen, which is pretty cheap because I saw somewhere else for like 17,000 yen. Um, I don't know the actual value of this, I haven't looked it up, but I've seen it go in America for like $70. So, for sale only in Japan. Um, I did buy this at 7 Eleven and they had to scan it like a thousand times because it first showed as like 5 yen and they had to get the manager and everything. It was a pain in the butt to buy, but I just got it in Nico, so pretty interesting. And, um, I mean, I guess we might do it now. I, Alright. I'm going to be opening up the structured decks for Vice Fonts. Because, um, yeah. I just, I love the game. I want to play it. Sorry, I'm kind of stalling because I'm losing stuff. But, I'm using these sleeves for the first deck. God, this is going to take her. I mean, I might as well open it. I don't even know what this anime is, but this is where we're starting. Let's just get this over with. It's going to take forever. This video is going to be like an hour. Nobody's going to watch it. It's going to be awesome. Except if you know me personally. Probably shares. My favorite product probably is going to be the bulk because Jesus Christ, you can buy, I don't even know how many cards this is. It's probably like 500 cards for like less than, less than $2. That's just crazy value. All right. I guess we'll start with the structure deck. Do I start with the structure deck or do I start with the pack? Hmm, choices. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start with the. I'm gonna start with the pack. Um, I, it feels bad to open this because like, pack artwork so beautiful, but uh, it's gotta be done. So rest in peace to. Uh, I I don't even know this anime is. Sorry. Sorry, all the fans out there. How do I open this thing? Oh, they want me to pull this. I feel bad doing this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Try to preserve the pack as much as possible. Did I actually collect all my packs? Oh my god, that, this crimps feel amazing. This is just so satisfying. Okay, never mind. I take it back. That's awful. That's just. Oh, that that hurts. This hurts. Oh no, her hair. No. This hurts. This hurts a lot, actually. Why did they do this to me? Why did they do this to me? Is this really nine cards? Are they just really fat? I don't know if there's any order for like the rarity or anything. And am I guaranteed a foil? We're about to find out. Chick number one, level two. Alright, interesting. That's card number one, I'm counting. Was that? No. Okay. Sometimes they're as high as foil. Uh, Picture Girl, number two. Very interesting. Girl number three. Very interesting. I'm sorry. Oh, there's actually guys in the series. Okay. Father of Somebody. Number four. Girl number five. I gotta say, she's probably my favorite so far. Very nice haircut. Very nice. Wow, this is just a very silly card. Girl number five. Or person number five. Oh, I see a foil. We definitely got one of those. It's at the very end. That makes things very convenient. Girl number... Six, person number six, holding something very reminiscent of a credit card, I guess. Did they, did they blur it? It's almost like they blurred the credit card. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh my God, you are beautiful. Girl number eight. So it looks like there really was nine. So did they just, did they really make me do the pack trick one? Oh, it's the climax. Very interesting. They put the climax in the last card. So, very convenient. Very nice. And there is some uh, factory screwage on the top. That's two notes. So, what is this? Futari de something. Okay. 
I gotta say though, I'm not complaining about this spread right here. Very beautiful, very nice. I will sleeve you up immediately. Wow, very nice. And I would, I think they're guaranteed for the the rares. So, I mean, yeah, of course. But I just did another crack as well. All right, I'm gonna sleeve up this climax as well. All right, what is this thing? It's like some gateway. Okay, nice. All right, um, what's next? Oh yeah, that's right, the structure deck. But uh, you will be remembered. I did get this girl right here, so that's very nice. Though I do prefer the girl on the right. Sorry. And then, uh, oh, we got these people. Oh my god, who are these girls, man? I gotta look up this anime. All right. My friend I went to bodies with, he said he knew these girls. I do not. I'm actually screwing up this box. That's amazing. Ah. Alright. Guys, you can do a better packaging trick. M make me kind of hurt the cards. Or not the cards, you hurt the box. I actually collect the boxes, so. I collect everything. I just make sure not to waste any of my trash, because cards are expensive, man. I only can buy them so many times. Unless you're like Ruxin, because. Okay. Oh wow, they actually give me this. Oh no way, they actually give me a play mat. That's actually awesome. I, I might. Should I show it now? Yeah, I'll show it now. What is this? Some stuff in Japanese. Have fun reading that. That's like the rules? Is this the play or the rules? That's the rules. No thank you. I won't read those now. But I will show you the play mat. Which is uh very nice. Kinda like Yu-Gi-Oh! They give it to you. Wow, let's look at this. I wish it was themed with like in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the uh actual things, but from what I've seen, they don't do that. So but hey, you get what you get. So there's that. Very nice. Uh, I feel like the memory over here. I haven't actually ever used the memory so far. Alright. Very cool, very cool. Now looking at the actual cards. What are we playing, boys? Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna sleeve these up as I go. In the, uh, god, where are these? I don't know. Something. Alright. Let's see here. What do we get for... What is this? Like ten dollars? Ten dollars. Let's see what we get. Yeah, sixteen hundred yen. This one was slightly more expensive. It's like sixty yen more expensive than all the other ones. So I don't know why that was. Why did they do this? This actually hurts me a lot. How am I supposed to? Why would this is like the? I'm sorry. I, I disapprove of this packaging technique. This just hurts me. <laughs> why would they? Why would they do this, man? This hurts. What is that? How do I take this off? God dang it, man. Oh, it's like on the back. No way. So I'm going to pull up? Yeah, they want me to pull up. Why? Why did they do this to me? I'm sorry, this hurts. This actually hurts my fingers. Because I have no fingernails. There's like a 50% chance I'm getting this out. Alright, we got it. There we go. I extremely disapprove of that. Bad practice. Card number one. I want to know how many rares we get in this pack, or this structure deck, or this trial deck, whatever you want to call it. Alright, level three. Come on, give me another rare, please. Uh, nothing here. Alright, we get some girl. I want to know how many copies we get of each. So, that's one copy of that. Some girl. Two copies of the girl. Three copies of the girl. Come on, four copies of the girl. No? Okay. I don't know who you are. Oh, this is my favorite girl. Er, sorry, second favorite girl. But now she's my favorite because I pulled her from the last battle. Three, come on, give me four. God dang it, why did I not do this? Who is this guy, bro? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Okay. Some girl. My girl. Come on, I want to see the girl with the black hair. Are you in trouble? Why is the flavor text in English? Very interesting. What is that? That looks interesting. Oh, there she is. Okay. Best girl. Sorry. Okay. On the phone. Melon eating. Melon eating. A lot of melon eating. A lot of ice cream eating. And this is girl again. What is your name? Kurumi. Okay. Black hair girl. Okay, what's her black hair on it? Her name is Takina, I guess. And... Oh god, I, I don't even know what that means. 
They put a lot of these one. Actually, did they put her at the beginning? They did. They they spread them out like this. Why they do that? That's so weird. Am I getting four copies? I actually don't even know. Okay, that is definitely. I've seen these cards before. I've seen these cards before. Is this the fourth copy? I don't even know. This is the second copy. This guy. Why did they just put this random guy in here? I'm taking him out. This is supposed to be a girl exclusive deck. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I just. This is why. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Oh my god, that's just beautiful. Wow. Why'd they put her in the middle? It's like I could scrape damage my cards. Put him in the front. Okay. Well, um, I'm just going to take this off just in case. Yeah, no. But, so that's two rares so far. Very nice. Gotta say. Why do they only do this with this girl? Come on, give me the black hair girl. Well, it's reminiscent because uh, they already gave us the, the, the two people, the one people, and give me the other one people. Let's go. There we go. Starting with the climaxes. I, I, I wonder if this can go all climax now. So, probably. No? They just throw in the middle. Okay. Well, screw me, I guess. Alright. This is definitely the fourth copy of that. Melon girl. Not a fan. Ice cream. Angry girl. Gamer room. This card, not as a rare. That's really lame. Why would you do that? Alright. Here we go. Another climax. Just screwed right in there. In the middle of nowhere. Climax number two. Here we go. We're going to get all the climaxes now. Climax number three. Come on. Don't give me these. I want the black girl. Come on. Come on. Did I just give me four of here? Why do you not? Why? Alright, I'm kind of disappointed to be completely honest. Because all of the climaxes, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, it's probably somewhere in there, are of both of them or just this girl. That's. Alright, you know what? I have to pretend like my best girl is this now. Because. Yeah, okay, fine. This this will do it for me. This will do it. Alright, um, I mean, do I do the next structure? Do I do this structure deck right now? My, my desk is too full. All right. Tune in some other time, and I will open up this structure deck. Yeah. I'll see you back some other day, guys. Peace. Yeah, I have a lot of... Look, let me just like turn this around. A lot of garbage and stuff, so... Um, this has been really fun. Uh, I'm getting increasingly more and more tired as I do this, but... Yeah. My God. It was pretty crazy. I got a lot of cards, so that was fun. Really fun. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do outros, so just have a good day. Thank you so much for your attention. Peace.